Fashionistas. Hi, this is Faith. Welcome back to the channel. You've reached Fashion and Fitness Done Right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Today, ladies, we have two quick unboxings, and I don't want to be before you long because it is Terrific Tuesday, and it is the first day of spring. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel on the first day of spring. Aren't you excited? Because I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm grateful for this opportunity that I rose up and I'm able to praise God on the first day of spring. Yes, he has been a good God. I'm pulling my sweater down. <laughs> Excuse me, I dropped the phone. I'm pulling my sweater down. I feel it trying to rise as I'm sitting down because I just kind of plopped down and grabbed all my uh, things to kind of flow today. Like I said, today we are going to be doing um, two quick unboxings. Um, and I have a confession. First and foremost, I want to welcome you back to the channel and ask you, how are you doing? How are you? How's your husband? How's your beautiful wife? How are the children? And how are the grandbabies? I was on the phone with my little ladybug, Samaya. She's such a loving little girl. Calling to check on her Jima. Um, and uh, it's because of them, I... I, well, I can't blame, I can't totally blame it on them, but I, I will say that um, I didn't keep my, my commitment to not shopping during this month. And in all fairness, in all fairness, you know, those grandbabies, <laughs> ladies, those grandbabies, they just have a strap on this old heart string of mine. Let me tell you, the, the, I have a great granddaughter. Her name is Dior. And Dior made mention to me the last time she was here that she was bored. And so I said, well, they were here a few days ago. And so I let's let's just say I held out until uh, the other day. So I, I, I did half the month without shopping. And so um, I decided, remember I told you I was spoiling my granddaughter for her birthday. So we did a little something for her. I have a little quick picture here. I did a little denim and diamonds theme. I thought it was so cute. We really did have fun. Well... You know, you know, there's always family that's going to show out at some point, but we really did end up having a good time. And so while the baby was great, great granddaughter was here, which is her daughter. She said, Grandma, I'm always bored. Um, now, mind you, they have a toy chest full of toys in the guest room. But she told me she was bored. So I ended up going shopping, bought them a few extra gifts. A few extra toys when they come and they haven't been here. So just now she called when the other granddaughter called and I said, listen. I, I've been waiting for to see you guys and you haven't I spoiled you and you, you haven't been here to get spoiled so that's the that's the reason at least I'm going to use it as the reason why I didn't keep um I didn't continue to not shop anyway I found a cute little bag I was looking for a bag to be honest this is the truth I was looking for a bag to kind of match um some pieces that I have that are yellow and so one bag that I'm going to show you, the two bags, one is from Mango. Yes, ladies, I'm still faith. Nothing's changed. One is from Mango and the other bag is actually from Amazon. And um, the, Am the Mango bag I bought a few months back. So it just arrived. And the Amazon bag was, I said, well, since I done broke, <laughs> I done broke um, this thing that I promised to myself. Now I made the promise to myself, so I'm going to have to repent anyway, but I made the, which I already did, but I made the promise to myself that I would not spend so much money. And um, this month I was going to be more conscious of the, of the, the things that I spent all my money on. But um, long story short, I spent, uh, I bought the bag. And so these two bags are the ones that I'm going to show you. Okay. <laughs> Pull it back. All right. Remember, to support the channel by liking, subscribing, liking, comment, subscribing, share. I've been posting all types of things up. Remember to like um, the Instagram. Remember to like the Facebook. Um, I'm starting to tap into other ventures. I have um, now hired uh, someone to assist in those in the matters, and so um, I'm someone to help me to to do better with what it is that I'm doing and to kind of grow uh, the channel and grow. Um, um, my business, you know, my business, um, uh, what is it? Done right enterprises. Yeah. Done right. Enter we're trying to grow the channel. And so neither here nor there, that's not important. Okay. So the look of the day, by the way, the look of the day is I have on my knit top with my sweater and I've been wearing this for years. I've had it for years. Um, I believe I got this from, I either got it from Jessica Lund. I, it had to be Jessica London. I believe I got this from Jessica London because I, I kind of usually get my knit tops and my matching uh, 
sweaters from there. So I have it on. Ladies, I love the pedal pushes. Oh, well, what y'all call these now? I forgot what they called them, but we used to call them pedal pushes. And so I have, um, I have on um, my pedal pushes. I have on a new pair of slides. I'm going to talk about them on Thursday. I have on a new pair of wedge slides that I absolutely adore. I'll show you a quick picture here of the outfit of the day, which is, it's just casual. Remember, I'm in the house, so no biggie. And my fragrance of the day is, you know, I'm one. I know there are a lot of new fragrances out, guys, and I get that fashion since I really do. But I am a lover of all the old um, brands that have stood out the test of time. And so I'm supporting Oscar de la Renta. I love this alibi. And I had to learn how to spray it because it has this little hole right here at the top that psyched me the last time and when I shot it. It squirted right into my mouth, but I'm loving this fragrance. I don't know. I don't know how popular it is in the land, but I have to tell you that I adore it. And so I am rocking it today. I put it on, but I'm again spraying all over the place as usual. Again, this is um, the Edal perfume. It is Alibi by Oscar de la Renta. I believe it's an older fragrance, but I am loving it just the same. And there was something else I was supposed to share with you. I did the outfit of the day. I did the fragrance of the day. Um, as it comes to me, I'll, if it comes to me, I'll, oh, I wanted to talk about my, um, my new watch that I thought was so adorable. I believe, ladies, I didn't order mine from Walmart, but I recently found it on Walmart. So if you, if you, um, if you would, it's a, it's a gold and silver medal combined. If you would like it, I'll leave the I'll leave the link for the uh, Walmart watch. It's much, <laughs> much more, uh, much more affordable in in Walmart. And so, um, oh, okay. So the jewelry, um, I think I got this from Amazon. It's 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 a medal. It's a medal. It's a medal. And these are some older, um. I have long hoops, I think, and I got these from Amazon, but I've had these a few years now. This I just recently purchased uh, a few months ago, maybe two, three months ago, maybe even longer than that, but I've never even worn it. So I said, oh, since it's spring, it's time to break out and share all the beautiful fashion. Okay, it's seven minutes. Moving on. All right, ladies, I don't know which one you want me to show first, but I think I want to show the one that I bought to actually go with this look. I bought this one to go with the look. Unfortunately, this beautiful um, this one came from Amazon, and it's a small um, purse. Uh, I wanted the yellow, so I thought. Now, I, I, I put these up here just to show you, because a lot of times I'm looking for stuff, shopping for stuff, and I already have the things that I'm looking for, or the thing that I'm looking for when it comes is already in one of the colors I already have. That happens to be the case with this bag. All right, this is, let me just share with you, Okay, this is the bag, and the brand is Carza. This is the underarm. I'm going to show you in a minute. This is the underarm. Maybe I'll put the picture up while I talk, okay? This is the underarm crossbody. It's vegan leather. Vegan leather bag. This bag happens to be, at the time when I ordered it, I really wasn't paying attention, and when it came, I said, oh, you know it's a dupe of something, right? This is the dupe of the Jackie O designer bag from Gucci. This is an uh, in, um, inspired by Jackie O. So it came in another bag. It came in plastic, in this bag, in some more plastic inside the bag that I've shown you. All right, so there was, was there major protection on it? No, there was not, but I have to tell you, this bag was under $30, one, and this bag, this is the hardest vegan leather that I have ever felt. So I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. Um. Oh, wow. Here we go again. Every time I think I'm low enough, I find out that I'm really not. All right, ladies, but this is the deal. I love the bag. Let me show you a couple of shots. I really do love the bag. I just don't think that I'm going to keep it because the quality of the leather is really not good. Um, I noticed, as always, 288 people gave this a 3.9 star review. And I kind of see why. And it's only because... The bag, okay, it has the short bag, it has the short um, strap, which this is the way I was going to wear it, so this is why I left it like that, because I was just going to throw it under the arm and go, and then it has the extender, like the the real Gucci um, Jackie O bag. I have uh, the one in the blue monogram print, Gucci monogram print, 
that I've had for years. I've had it for years, 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 years. And um, it does come where you can detach it and make it shorter. I thought this was gorgeous. It has a little, um, little material. All right. I'm doing it again. Okay, you see, I thought that I would be able to wear it with this, but it doesn't even match. It doesn't match at all. This is the exact same color as my Coach Tabby, if you can see that one right there. This is the exact same color as the Coach Tabby, so I really didn't need to order this bag. All right, so I was trying to take the paper out so I can show you. Can you see that, ladies? All right, so it has a, a it has a linen, a, like a material inside, one zipper pocket right here, and... On the opposite side, there's nothing. And then it has this zipper pocket. I mean, this zipper. Ooh. So you have to hold it up and then you zip it up, right? And it's a beautiful looking bag. I just, I really would keep it. I, okay, I'm I'm weighing it out. because I've been catching flack <laughs> from some of my friends for carrying vegan leather bags. But... It's okay. I don't mind. Um, I I do. It has the same type of closure as the Jackie O. Same beautiful closure that class when you just snap it right in. All the hardware is gold. I, do, I love the look of this bag. I really do. So let me see. Do I have anything in, anything else here to say? Nope. That's it. It's And it is under $30. I love this look of this bag. And it is under $30. But, um... Can you see? I don't know. I, and I still might keep it. I don't know. But it, for me to keep it, when I have those two, I think one is um, one is the back. The one in the back is the Kate Spade bag. And I've kind of fixed it so I can carry it like a top handle. And this one here is the Coach Tabby. Now, it has a top handle as well. Or I can wear it as a crossbody. But I really wanted to just have this so I could throw it up under my arm if I needed to. So, I don't know, ladies. You tell me what you think in um, in the comments section. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think I should hold on to it? Or, remember, it was only under $30. And um, I could have waited. When I look back now, I really could have waited on it. But um, I didn't. And um, it's, it, it, it really, the quality of it is, it's just really hard. If I could find one like this, and I know sometimes they have them all on Amazon. I'm sorry, I'm trying to close it back. If I can find one like this and they have it on Amazon and it is leather, I would definitely get it. Because I love this bag. I love the look of the bag. I love the shape of the bag. My uh, Gucci um, Jackie O is up. Uh, is a little it's much larger than this one so i have the larger size one but this is adorable now i don't know if this is going to stay standing up but i'm going to try to position it where it won't fall while i go to the next bag okay so that was it that was it this next one came from mango i hope i was showing you pictures of this bag while i was talking because you know ladies that i can go there all right so the next one is from mango this is the raffia effect bucket bag with leather trim i love this bag this bag tickled me and the reason why is this a mango yeah mango and the reason why i came just like this this is how it came they said thank you i think this is my receipt I said thanks yeah this is this is my receipt okay they never really put anything on here it says it came from mango from new york city but the the addressing and the return address that was on the bag said otherwise, but it says Mango City on there. Any event, it took about two months to get here, if I remember correctly. And um, this bag, let me just read the, the details as I prepare to take it out for you. All right, so this bag, by the way, is under $60. And it says this is the small size. Um, it is the cotton blend. It has cotton blend fabric inside. It has the raffia effect. In the inner lining, uh, it's a bucket design. It has a short strap, also a d adjustable and detachable long strap, and it has dual compartments. It says that this bag was designed in Barcelona, Spain, although I saw that it said made in China. But in the uh, in, in the information when I went on the line to research, it said that it was created in it was designed in Barcelona, Spain, and so it came in that plastic inside of the bag. They both came rather rather simple. Okay, rather, you know, shipped rather simply. This was all the protection that was on the bag, and here's the bag. This bag is gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. Does this look familiar? Am I not a creature of habit in some time, in some ways? Because when I started, I thought the bag was a little larger. Okay, here's my hand. I thought the bag was a little larger. But for me, in retirement mode, I just need, I don't need them too small. Sometimes the too small bags don't really work for me. Once you put your phone in, your keys, your credit card, and a few dollars, it's full, you know. Can't put no perfume, can't put no defense, um, <laughs> no mace in your bag or anything, you know. God forbid if I had to carry a gun, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, there's no room in the bag, but I love this bag. I don't know, I haven't really tried what to see what can fit in it. Maybe I'll show you at another time what can actually fit in this bag. But when I say this bag is gorgeous, this bag is gorgeous. So, here's the detail, right? The quality, oh, the quality is so amazing. I put uh, air pockets in here, plastic air pockets. So give me a minute while I unveil them so I can show you. Okay, there are two out. Okay, here's the additional strap. I'm going to leave it attached because if once I take it loose, sometimes I tend to misplace stuff. All right, and so here's the lining. This is a beautiful bag. Beautifully lined on the inside. Beautifully. The other bag was too, if I do say so. Even though the quality of the material, the leather, it wasn't leather. It still was. This is leather. Okay, and so it says mango. Now, there are no pockets. There are just two compartments. There are no, you know, usually it'd be a little pocket here. You can slide your credit cards, but that's just, that's just the emblem there. The, um, M, the MNG for the abbreviation for mango, and that's it. But when I say this bag is adorable, I have to tell you, ladies, this bag is adorable. I also want to show you some other ones that I saw. Again, remember that I told you that it was designed in Barcelona, right? Barcelona, Spain. Spain. Always. Always mark this tongue. All right. So I want to show you a few other bags if I could right now. I want to show you. Um, I got to get this without knocking all that over. All right. If I can go to my phone, I'm going to show you the first straw raffia bag. If I, oh, I turned this phone off. Oh, I did. I'm not going to be able to do it. All right, I'm just going to show you them. I'm not going to be able to articulate and give you any details regarding the bag, but I want to show you them because they had a few beautiful Shrafia bags. Maybe I can just show you the pictures as my phone turns back on. Okay, let me show you this first one up. This one is a little larger than this particular bag, but I loved it. I really do love it. I, this is right up my alley for getting to go places and just looking chic, you know, and this bag was under $60. Ladies, I have to tell you that it really, it looks, it's very, very luxurious. This is a very rich looking pocketbook. It has, it's, it's chef kiss to me. Really it is. And you know, in the past I've done a, I did a whole thing, you know, in the summer we're hitting, we're in spring. So summer's right around the corner. You know how I feel about straw bags. I, oh, I did a whole segment on straw bags last summer. But I'm telling you, and these were all under $50. I'm going to tell you then, take the time and look at this video. This video, because I'm sure if they don't have them per se here now, I'm sure they have something similar that you would be still be able to shop. So I will leave this down. I will leave this as an attachment at the end. And I will also leave it down in the description box. I wanted to go back. I apologize. Let me go back and show you the additional uh, bags. I think it was about two or three of them, if I if I remember correctly. Okay, my phone is on. Let's see if we can work it. Let's see if we can work it. Let me go to my pictures real quick. Okay, they're here. Okay, so I showed you. I think I showed you the bucket looking bag, right? It's the Rafia Effect bucket bag. Okay, this one was for $89.99. Then I want to show you this Rafia Effect shoulder bag. This one was gorgeous. Ladies, these, and remember, this is mango, okay? And then I want to show you, okay, and then they had um, some raffia strap sandals. Now, I don't, I thought these were adorable, and I said, oh, they would look well with this bag, but remember, I bought the Loren Ralph Loren slides on last year, and I think they look very much similar, just that it has the RLR on them or the LRL on them. So I know that they all look pretty much the same. These bags are absolutely fabulous. And they are budget, excuse me, they are affordable. Okay, so I told you that bag. I don't see a price for this. Okay, so the shoulder bag was $79.99 and the shoes are 
$59.99. And the Ralphia strap shoe is $59.99. More than likely, because uh, all the fashionistas, they usually shop early. It's a good possibility that these may already be sold out. But I'm going to encourage you to take a peek. I didn't, I can if you like, I can leave links for them, but I I was just showing you them because I just thought they were adorable. And that was it, ladies. That was it. I want to encourage you to remember that it's the first day of spring. And if you haven't gotten ready, let's get ready with fashion. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I am so... I made a mess here. All right. I'm going to put this plastic back down here so I can put these two possibles up where you can see them. Mind you. Oh, that was the point why I showed... Why I put these pictures up. Let me move. Why I put these other things up. Let me show you. You see that bag right there? I can't reach it because it looks closer than what it is. But it, they are basically about the same size and width, except this one has one strap and that one has two. But they are almost, I, <laughs> creature, I am a creature of habit, but they are almost identical. I, I cannot, I cannot tell you no tale. They are almost identical, except that one has, and it, well, that one has an additional strap in it also, but this one looks more like uh, the Fendi, um, the, it's inspired by a Fendi bag that I can't remember the name of right now. Okay, ladies, I think we've gone over everything, and it's 21 minutes in. I'm hanging up here now. I'm going to let you go so that you can enjoy your beautiful spring day, the first day of spring. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Um... And I'm looking forward to uh, my family coming by soon, hopefully soon. And in any event, looking forward to playing with the grandbabies. All right, ladies. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, links, all information will be down in the description box, um, especially concerning these two bags. I think if I can find the information for the other bags, if you're interested, especially um, this one here from Amazon. I think that other one was from Serengeti. I think it's a Serengeti bag. I'll leave that information as well. Ladies, remember that you really can do all things through Christ because Christ gave us the strength and great is the he that is within us than the he that is in the world. Be encouraged and I will see you soon. In fact, I'm coming back Thursday so I can talk about the shoe. We're talking about the trends that are manifesting themselves in this, this spring and summer season coming. All right. Have a great day, ladies, and you'll be well. See ya.